Quiz 3. Question number 9. Samsung will soon be introducing its new bendable phone. You can see it in on the picture. Propose for different types of pricing strategies Samsung could use and explain how exactly you would come to the final price and what final price would be. Provide all reasonable assumptions in your explanations. Okay, in fact, there are many ways to approach this pricing strategy. As you can see in the graph here, we have types of pricing strategies like uh, penetration pricing, scheming pricing, competition pricing, product line pricing, psychological pricing, cost plus pricing, cost rates pricing, optional pricing, premium pricing, and bundle pricing. Okay, so in this graph or this picture, we can see more or different in a different way pricing strategies can be penetration pricing optional pricing premium pricing competition pricing value pricing pricing bundle pricing and scaling pricing we could use for example in internal factors product considerations since we are introducing a new product we could use scaling and penetration. If we use skimming, we can price this product at a high price, let's say 1,200 Canadian dollars, and start decreasing the price monthly. Or we could use, or we could set the price at 700 Canadian dollars, which would be the second penetration strategy, and advertise its benefits heavily on different channels. We must be careful that our revenue is high enough to cover the product, total costs, that means favorable plus fixed costs, and provide a reasonable, a reasonable return on investment. Good. If we take, for example, external factors that affect price decision, pricing decisions, we would use, let's say, value pricing strategy. Since Samsung is a strong brand and has an, a super high quali quantity quality reputation. The price could be said acting as an oligopoly. That means that there are few strong sellers and many buyers. Depending on the phone's features, the price would be as high as fifteen hundred Canadian dollars. The fourth pricing strategy could be psychological. And by this one, we mean that there's a quality signal. Here, we should increase the price, even more indicating prestige. Let's say 2,000 Canadian dollars. This is nothing for a Hollywood star or a political leader, so this is prestige. Price signals quality, higher price signals higher quality. And here is the role we, we are playing. Lower price signals, lower quality. And we have also some names for psychological pricing, let's say premium pricing, image pricing, or prestige pricing. Question number 10. Also, you are hesitating, hesitating between using advertising or public relations for the phone's launch. List two strengths and two weaknesses for advertising in for advertising and public relations. Advertising, pros, control, what it says, to whom, when. Reaches a lot of people. Those are two pros of advertising. Cons, it's that it is impersonal and it costs a lot, it is costly. If we use public relations, the pros would be that we have lower cost than advertisement, advertising. Second is that we have strong impact on public awareness than advertising. The cons could be lack of user control over it, no saying where or how your brand is communicated or shared. So in public communications, we have two pros and one con.